G'day folks, it's Cortezarino and welcome to the third and final installment of my Japanese castle tutorial. And guess what, we are getting the entire thing done today. We're going to finish the top of the castle and then come inside and do the interior. And this is where we left off last time, so let's get started. Okay, so on the two sides where the brown carpet is, we're going to build a wall. I'll show you this one and you can copy it to the other. So firstly, you want to look from the inside looking out. And on top of those two blackstone bricks, we're going to place two dark oak doors. And just make sure the handles are facing each other. Now we can swing back around to the outside. And on each side of the doors, we're going to put two dark oak logs. These ones have their bark, they're not stripped. And then on top of those, we're going to put poly the uh, chiseled blackstone. And in between those, we're going to put two upside down dark oak stairs. Now right here, we're going to go one, two blackstone bricks. And then we're going to put a snow block. And then two lines of snow right across the top here. So just run them all the way over. Then on top, we're going to switch to a black stone and put a single line in. Finally, grab some daylight detectors and just against the snow here, we're going to put four above each door. So go ahead and build that on the other side. Okay, once again, what I do on this side, you can copy to the other side. So we're going to put a stripped dark oak log just on the diagonal from the dark oak with the bark on it. So we're going to put one on this side as well. And we're going to add five more. So one, two, three, four, five. So it finishes at the same height as that black stone just up there. Now on top, we're going to put stone blocks and then we're going to run a little cross beam all the way along like so. In the corners we will put spruce fences, hang some lanterns from those and then we're going to run spruce fence gates all the way along and open all of these up. So that is how you should be looking when you're done. Okay so now we're going to do the other two walls and once again I'll show you one and you can copy it to the other. So on each side of the white carpet we're going to put a quartz pillar and these are going to be four blocks tall in total. So add another three to those ones. And then grab smooth quartz. And we're going to put five across the top right there. And five across the top right there. Now in between them, we're going to put one, two, three, four snow with a chiseled blackstone on top. And then grab regular blackstone. You can see this line we've got here. We're going to run this around the corner and over the top of our quartz and keep going until we connect with that line right there. So now we can come to the inside and what we're going to do is grab some stripped dark oak and connect the two stone blocks right here. So run that all the way along. Now just with plain polished blackstone bricks. On top of that stone there we're going to put a three wide wall and just build that all the way up to the top. So same here, one, two, three on top of the stone. And this goes the entire way up. Now in this little gap up the top, we're going to put spruce fences with lanterns and then an open spruce fence gate in the middle. And while you're here, you can put in a little fence as well. So we'll put three fences there and just surround your little walkway so your imaginary people don't fall down the stairs. Okay, so on the two sides with our doors, come along to this stone here and put down two blackstone bricks. And then we're going to put six snow blocks above, then one there and a chiseled blackstone in the corner. And we'll do the same here. So two bricks, six snow, an extra one there, and then a chisel block. Now come to the center here and place an upside down smooth quartz stair just against that snow with a chiseled black stone on top and then with smooth quartz slabs. Run them along and finish in front of the chiseled black stone. So go ahead and do that on the other side. And then on the two sides that look like this, what we're going to do is with smooth quartz stairs, we're going to turn these rectangles into arches 
And then we're going to place upside down smooth quartz stairs against the chiseled blocks on each side. So three of them in total. And we'll put a chisel block on top of the middle one. And then we're just going to run smooth quartz slabs in between those two stairs and also between these two. So repeat that on the other side. Okay, each of these corners will be exactly the same. So I'll show you this one and you can copy it to the other three. So right there we're going to place a temporary block and then we're going to put a blackstone wall on top and break that. Then the rest of the smooth quartz stairs we're going to look at the wall and we're going to place a line of them upside down until we connect in the middle. And we'll do the same from this side. So just upside down stairs all the way along. So repeat that three more times. Okay, grab some warped slabs and this will be the same on all four sides. So I'll show you this one and you can copy it to the other three. So we're going to start with a temporary slab against the bottom half of that middle chiseled block. Then we'll put another one in front and break that. And we're going to put five more on each side. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to put a permanent one against the top half of that chiseled block. And we're going to run these along and finish against the black stone wall in each corner. So do that on each side. And then we're going to go one, two, three on the end here. Same over here. One, two, three. So once you've done that on all sides, go ahead and put a warped plank on top of our black stone walls in each corner. And then we're just going to run a line of warped slabs connecting these four planks. And once you've done that all the way around, on top of this line of blackstone here, we're just going to fill this in with warped planks. Okay, so I'll show you what to do in one corner, and you can copy it to the other three. We're going to put a temporary slab there, then a warped slab over that hole, then one in the corner, and break the temporary one. Now on that plank right there, we're going to place a warped pressure plate. And then grab two warped trapdoors and looking in the same direction I'm looking, place one there and one right there. And then grab our warped slab and we're going to place it on top right there. So do that three more times. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're only going to do on two sides. And those are the sides with our dark oak doors. So I'll show you this one and you can copy it to the other side. So up here next to that stone block. We're going to place a smooth quartz block on top of the dark oak and we'll do the same there. Next to that we are going to put a black stone and we're just going to place one every second block. So four in total and then chiseled black stone in between and then black stone buttons. We're just going to put on the five in the middle. Then grab some spruce stairs, come along to the inside and just against the black stone we're going to run upside down spruce stairs. On top of that, we're going to put a line of snow blocks and then we're going to start coming in like a pyramid. So it's just going to be one block shorter every time. So do three levels of that. Then on the top, we're going to put a sea lantern with an oak trapdoor just on this side. So go ahead and repeat that over there. Okay, grab some stripped dark oak logs and we're going to run a line of them just connecting the two quartz blocks on each side here. So one on that side and one on this side. And now I'll do a little thing on this triangle. You can copy it to the other one. So on the outside here, grab some smooth quartz stairs and we're going to put three upside down just like that against the snow and I'll do the same on that side then with smooth quartz we'll do one against the sea lantern one below and on the one below we're going to put a blackstone button okay now we're going to start building up the roof so I've done it on that side we will do this side together so what we're going to do is place a warped stair on top of that stone block and we're going to run these all the way along, finishing on the other stone block. Now, on the end of this stair, we're going to put a warped slab against the top half of it. And we'll do the same right here, a warped slab. And I'm triggering pressure plates there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place a stair on top of the quartz with an extra one poking out toward the front. And we'll do that four times. And we'll do the same right here. One on top of the quartz with an extra one poking out toward the front. 
Now on top, what we're going to do is put a warped slab against the top half of that quartz block. And then we're going to run these slabs all the way across the top here until we're hooking out to the same distance of those stairs with an extra one underneath. And then this is super simple, guys. We're just going to fill in all of these stairs. Okay, so now we need to do some spawn proofing. So we've got one pressure plate there. We're going to put another one just up there on top of that slab. Same on this side, and I've already done the two on the opposite side. Then we're going to do buttons. So we'll need a line of them all the way along here. And then on this side, we're also going to need a line here. So just copy that to the opposite sides. And then on all four sides down here, we will need this line along here. So just run these all the way along and just go ahead and spawn proof everything. Okay, we are done on the roof. You can drop down here. And in all four corners, we're going to hang a chain from that blackstone wall. And on the end of the chain, we're going to put a soul lantern. So I've already done the other corners. Then finally, grab a dark oak fence and you can start on top of the blackstone in the corner. And we're just going to run a single line of this all the way around. And you can throw in some fence gates if you want to, if you want access to your roof at a later date. But I'm just going to use fences all the way around. Okay, let's begin on the interior and we're going to start with the guard room. So we'll look to this corner and pop an armor stand in there and you can put on whatever army you like. I'm using netherite because it looks cool. Then we're going to skip two blocks, put down a scaffolding with a birch trapdoor on top. So it's a nice little chair. And then for the table, we're going to put two spruce fences on each side with two temporary blocks in between. And we're going to use the uh, the spruce trapdoors here. We're just going to place six along the top and break our temporary blocks. And then in this corner over here, we're just going to put in a barrel with a lantern on top. Okay, now I want you to look toward that window over there. And we're going to come underneath and place two pistons right there. And underneath, we're going to put the stripped dark oak wood. This is the one with bark going all the way around. So just place it against the piston, not against the window. And then two armor stands. We're going to place them one facing in that direction and one from that direction. So they're right under those blocks. And then we can just put a redstone block there and trigger that. Now we'll put a temporary block in the middle on the left hand side. Against that, we're going to put an end rod. And on the other side, we're going to put a chain and you can get rid of that and we'll trigger our pistons again. And then right in the middle here, we're going to put upside down spruce stairs and an extra chain in the middle and you can get rid of your pistons. Then finally for this room, we're going to put an anvil right there. And then looking from the side, we'll put a grindstone beside it, then a double chest and in this corner over here, a barrel. And we're all done. We're ready to go up the stairs. Okay, at the top of our stairs, we're going to look at that window over there. And we're going to place three spruce slabs underneath. And then looking from the sides, two upside down spruce stairs. So we make a little table. And on the window right next to it, we are going to do the exact same thing. Hard to place that one. Now on this window here, we're going to put a flower pot right there with a pink tulip inside. And we're going to put a lantern right there. So that's how you should be looking. Now you can grab some spruce fences. We'll put one in each corner there, one in the middle with two spruce fence gates in between. And then just skipping every second block, we're going to place three there and three there. And once again, we're going to join these with our fence gates and that'll stop anyone falling down the stairs. Then look over to this wall up here. We're going to place one, two, three fences up there and we're going to hang lanterns from each of those. Okay, come along to the wall just to the right of our bookshelf and against this snow block right here, we're going to put a piston and one right there now below them two armor stands and we're going to look from that direction to place that one and one right there now under our pistons we'll put dark oak planks and we can trigger them with a redstone block 
So now we're going to put a temporary block right there. On the left hand side we'll do an end rod. On this side we'll do a chain and you can get rid of that block. And we'll trigger them again and you can get rid of all of that. Now in the middle here we'll put upside down dark oak stairs. We'll put another chain in the middle and then on each side we're going to flick up a dark oak trapdoor. Okay, turn to your right and look over at this section of the wall. We are going to put two spruce fences up there with lanterns on top. And then down here where we've got our sea lanterns, we're just going to run red carpet all the way around that and fill in the middle so we've got a nice little rug. Now up here underneath the crossbeam, we'll do a fence. Underneath the next one, a fence and another fence right there. And then just turn to this pillar and we're going to do two fences. And underneath all five of those, we are going to hang some lanterns. Okay, next I want you to make four of this banner right here. And here is how you make it. So you start with a yellow banner, you add the red brick pattern, and now the steps are up the top. You add this red fading out bit, so it looks like that. Then a yellow flower charge, then you add a yellow border, and then a black border, and you end up with this. So go ahead and make four of those banners. And then what you can do is look up at the ceiling and we're going to hang a chain from that hopper. So you'll have to hold shift when you place that. Then we'll put a shroom light underneath that and you can surround it with our four banners. Now look over to where our stairs are and this pillar just to the right of the stairs we're going to put a flower pot in front with a dead bush inside and two oak leaves above. And just in front of that, a scaffolding with a lantern on top. Okay, just to the side of our staircase, we're going to look over at that window in the wall. And we're just going to put down two temporary blocks and then a dark oak slab against the top half of that. And you can break those. Now this slab is going to have two more on each side, well, one more on each side. And then we're going to place upside down dark oak stairs against each end of it. Now in the middle here we're going to go one, two, three spruce slabs with a dark oak slab on each end. And you can put down another dark oak stair on each end of that. So it looks just like that guys. And then one, two, three dark oak slabs. Now in the middle we'll do a flower pot with a fern. And on this side I'll do two sea pickles and two turtle eggs on that side. Now the materials list that I have in the video description doesn't always pick up a lot of these items, so my apologies if it wasn't in the materials list. And now we're just going to put some seating around it, and that's going to have hidden lights. So on this shorter side, we'll knock out that block, put in a sea lantern with some cyan carpet on top, and we will do the same on that side. And for these sides, we're going to knock out those two, put in our sea lanterns with the carpet, and do the exact same thing over here. Okay, just to this side of the table, we're going to skip this first log crossbeam that comes after our carpet, but on the second one, we're going to place three dark oak fence gates, and then holding shift, we're going to place three brown carpet on top, and then on each end, we're going to flick up a dark oak trapdoor so we've got a little bench to sit on. Then you can look over to that window just beyond the sea lanterns in the floor. And we're going to make another one of these benches, but just a little one. So we'll place the fence gate there with the brown carpet on top and the dark oak trapdoors on each side. And then over here, we're just going to place a single chest. Now on the ground we're going to run our red carpet over the sea lanterns and then also in the middle. Now we're going to build our big cooking pot over the fire here. So just look up at the roof and we're going to hang two chains just on the diagonal of the, uh, of the trapdoor there. So four of these in total, two long. And then we're going to put some spruce fences just underneath those two chains. And then spruce fence gates connecting these fences. Now holding shift, we're going to have a spruce fence floating in midair. So just place it against the fence gate. And then we'll hang a chain from that. 
and then get underneath and hang a cauldron. Okay, looking at our bookcase, we're going to go one, two, three spruce stairs upside down. And then looking from the sides, two more upside down spruce stairs with a spruce slab in the middle. And then we'll put a flower pot there with that little white flower in it. Then we'll come over to this little room right here. And what we're going to do is with a barrel, we're going to place one on each side of that window and on each side of that window. And then holding shift, we'll place our dark oak log lying on its side with two more. So it's stripped dark oak and the same right there. Now against that window up the back there, we're going to put two end rods just on top of our barrels. So holding shift for those. Now we're going to make a little enchanting room. So we'll put five bookshelves across the back and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two. And in the middle, your enchanting table. And to finish off this enchanting room, we're going to put a brown carpet on top of each of our bookcases. And then in the front here, we're going to flick up two spruce trapdoors on each side. Now, finally, I want to put two paintings on this wall right here. And I want the paintings to be one block wide, and I want one there, and I want one right there. So, what we need to do is put some blocker blocks in. So I'm going to go one, two, and then break that, and one, two, and break that. So now I can put the paintings in like that. And obviously I don't want those ones. Those two are much nicer. Okay, we're done with this room. It should be fully lit up now, so nothing's going to spawn. So we're going to come into this little room on the side, and come all the way to the bookshelf and right here against the stone we'll put an upside down spruce stair. Another one on the opposite side with a spruce slab in the middle and a lantern on the right. Now we'll jump up on the table and place a spruce stair like so with a spruce sign on each side. Now just opposite our table here I want you to put two stripped dark oak logs just make sure the one on the end has the bark all the way around. And now just in front of that, two cyan beds and then holding shift, two spruce signs on the end. In the corner, we'll put a flower pot with a blue flower inside. And just down here, diagonally from that trapdoor, we'll put in a double chest. And then up in this corner, we'll hang a spruce fence and a lantern. And now we're all done on this floor. We can go up our stairs. And looking at this wall over here, I'm going to go a scaffolding on each side of that window. Two birch trapdoors in there, and then holding shift, I'm going to put four brown carpet on top. Then we'll put a flower pot right there, and then skip a block and a flower pot right there. Both of those will have dead bushes and above oak leaves. Now... You can see it's just next to that dark oak. We're going to do a matching one just next to this dark oak. So dead bush and our oak leaves. Now look up to this pillar over here. On each side of that, we're going to put spruce fences with lanterns and then turn around and look back at this pillar. We will do exactly the same thing. And there's another pillar over here. We're going to do the same for that. Okay, looking down our staircase here, just come to the back and we're going to go one, two, three, four spruce fences. And on each side, we're going to skip a block and then place a fence and do that until you've placed three fences. And in between those, we're going to put spruce fence gates. So that's our railing. Now in that back corner over here, we're going to put a scaffolding with a lantern on top. And then looking for the middle log here, it's this one. I want to go one, two dark oak slabs right there. And then we're going to skip a block, place a green bed, skip a block and place a green bed. Now both of these will have spruce trapdoors just behind them like so. And then on each side, we're just going to hold shift and place a spruce sign as a little hand rest. So these are just little lounge chairs. Okay, turning our attention to this little alcove, right up the top, we're going to grab spruce fences, place one on each side with a spruce fence gate in the middle and open it up. 
It's just a little decorative feature. Now, underneath these oak planks here, we're going to go one, two, three dark oak trapdoors. I'll put three sea pickles on top of that one and a flower pot in the middle. Now, come down the bottom here, grab spruce stairs, and what I want you to do is put your back to this wall, and then right here, we're going to place an upside down spruce stair, and then we're going to put two more upside down, one facing in that direction one in that direction and then you can just fill up the middle with a spruce slab. And on this table I'm going to put a brewing stand in that corner and we'll do a lantern right there and then a chest in front. And if this is your survival base you can actually waterlog that stair behind the chest so you can always refill your water bottles for your brewing stand. Now we've got these sea lanterns in front. I'm going to go one, two, three grey carpet and three light gray carpet and we've got another one over here so we'll go two light gray and one gray and while we're at it we can go one two three and one two three now come back around to this one here and look at this wall what we're going to do is put a bench in here so one two three dark oak fence gates right in the middle of that wall with red carpet on top and then we'll just flick up a dark oak trapdoor on each side. Okay, so look at this section of the wall. What we're going to do is go one, two, three bookcases right there. And then underneath the bookcases, we're going to go upside down spruce stairs on each side with a spruce trapdoor in the middle. And we'll put a lantern on that side. Now, just in front of the trapdoor, we'll put a dark oak slab. And on each side of that, a dark oak sign. And then looking from this direction, we'll put a dark oak door right there. So we've got a nice chair. Now I want to put two paintings above this bench. And those paintings are going to be single block ones. And I want to put them both right there. So like before, we'll have to put in some blocking blocks. So one there, one there, break that. One there, one there, break that. And we'll put in our two paintings. That's pretty close. Those are the two I like. Okay, looking back at our desk, what I want to do is put a loom on each side of the table. But we want to place them with our back to the wall. So you'll have to come here, jump up and place them in. So it's looking like that. Now on the next side of this little tree, we're going to place another one. And then we're going to grab stripped dark oak logs and place one, two lying on their side. And then on the end, we're going to place another loom. Now, in front of all these looms, we are going to place jungle buttons. So just hold shift while you place those. And then on top of each of these looms, we're going to place a brown carpet. Now, right in the corner, we're going to put dark oak planks. And then upside down dark oak stairs with a dark oak slab in the middle. And then right in the corner, a flower pot with a crimson fungus. Now in front of these two stripped dark oak, we're going to put two red beds with two spruce signs on the ends. And then we're going to turn around and we're going into that room. And we're looking at this pillar on the side here. So up the top, we're going to hang two lanterns from spruce fences. And for a bit more light, a scaffolding with a lantern right there. Now turn around to the corner with the alcove. Up the top there we are going to hang a, another lantern from a fence. Now in the middle here I want a beehive, but I want to place it facing in that direction. So it's really hard. We'll place it like that. And then right beside it we'll place two facing in this direction. So if I placed it sideways I'd have the right texture at the front but the texture at the top wouldn't be matching the ones on the side. So that's why we do it that way. Then we'll put a brewing stand there and two sea pickles. And just to the left of this we're going to skip two blocks and then place two trapdoors right in the middle of that wall. And then we'll flick up a spruce trapdoor on each side. Now on the left we'll put a flower pot with a blue flower on the inside. Now in front of that we're going to skip a block and then we're going to place six daylight detectors in the ground. And this is a little table so we're going to knock out some blocks in the ground and put in sea lanterns on each side with our cyan carpet mats each side of that. 
So now I want to put some paintings on the wall and I want to put a single one right there and I want to put one that is two blocks long right there. So what I'll need to do, put a blocking block there and on the end and then I can break those two and that is where I'll place my painting. And for this one, two blocking blocks there and a painting. I don't like either of those. Those are the two paintings I'm going to use. So now I'm going to turn around and look in that corner over there and next to this pillar I'll put some dark oak planks and then upside down I'm going to go one, two, three dark oak stairs and we'll put planks on the end. Now on top of those planks I'm going to put a wither skeleton skull. So I'm going to look in this direction and place him down like that. So it looks like a, a black Japanese teapot. And then I will grab some flower pots. I'll go one, two right there. We'll put a bamboo in the corner and a birch sapling in that one. And the next level doesn't actually have any furniture. So believe it or not, guys, you have completed the castle. Woohoo! So that's all for today, guys. Leave me a big like if you enjoyed the series building this castle. And if you're building this as part of my castle base tutorial, which includes all the grounds around the castle, stay tuned. There is more to come for that. So thanks for watching again, guys. I'm Cortezarino, and I will see you later.